How I see accounting today differs dramatically from how I viewed my discipline in the past. I now see accounting as a way to shape both how we think and act as individuals and holistically within society. In my teaching and research, I'm particularly interested in pushing the boundaries with my students on how we contextualise accounting. I want to remove learners from their norm, provoking them, inducing their creativity and embracing their imagination. How do we visualise accounting? Can we listen to accounting? How does accounting make us feel? Would this in turn change how we make meaning of accounting? I believe it is important for students to create a contextual awareness of accounting. And I aim to do this within a professional, societal and self-focused setting. His reflective practice and uh, visualization resources have shown me how creative accounting can be. And that's changed my perspective uh, on accounting and made me um, gave me the whole perspective what accounting can do and its role on the society. By adopting what Baxter McGolder describes as a constructivist developmental pedagogy, I'm embarking on a journey of joint self-discovery with my students, where we begin to conceptualise accounting's role together. Through the use of visual learning methodology, film, collage construction, media, sculpture and active discussion and debate, I try to develop a reflective practice within learners that opens the accounting curriculum, not only in different contexts, but also through different experiential learning modes, both visual and emotive. This has allowed me to portray my ideas and therefore understand accounting but also the issues that surround accounting a lot better. By asking students how they experience accounting within their own worlds, I'm connecting to individuals, providing a personalised learning experience within a mass higher education environment and allowing my students a deeper curriculum experience, one that inspires, motivates and develops critical thought in that I am preparing learners for a professional way of thinking. Nick's use of reflective practice uh, in his capstone unit is setting students up to succeed in the workplace. I was fortunate enough to have Nick as both a lecturer and tutor in my last semester of university. Accounting 309 fundamentally changed my stance on numerous corporate and social dimensions I'm now encountering in the workplace. For this fundamental change to occur, the content of 399 alone wouldn't have been enough. I needed it to be delivered in the manner that it was. And this is where Nick McGuigan came in, a genuinely passionate and authentic teacher. Nick's approach to teaching was incredibly innovative, in particular his promotion of reflective practice. He's a force of disruption very much needed for accounting education because he represents a new paradigm of accounting education because he is now looking at student-centred learning and is lo looking at appreciation of education rather than just teaching. And I would really wish there are more of Nick.